And I have here my $3.50 ginormous butternut squash from the market. I actually bought it a month ago and I'm finally getting around to um, cutting it. The nice thing about butternut squash is if you store them in a cool place, they will stay good for quite a long time. I think even over the winter they'll stay good if you, if you keep them in your cellar or somewhere really cool. We are going to go with this now machete style um, to get the top off. This is a pretty um, thick squash here, so we're going to just kind of go for it and we're going to give it give it some muscle there. We're going to cut the top off and then I'm going to cut the bottom off. Same kind of deal. Um, if we lose too much, I can cut off of this, but we're not losing too much off of it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is cut it into thirds. I'm going to do one part to bake that I can use for either baby food or for to mix in with muffins or like homemade macaroni and cheese. And then I'm going to do one third part. We're going to dice up pretty small. Okay, machete, come on. Um, and then the, the third part will dice up bigger um, to use um, for soups. So here we go. We're going to have to scoop out some seeds too. Oh my goodness. There we go. Um, and you could uh, cut off the, the skin this way. Uh, whichever you prefer is easiest. If you're comfortable with a knife, you can do that. Um, if you prefer to peel it with a peeler, you can do that. But depending on how tough the skin is, it might take a little bit of time to get the skin off. So whatever you're most comfortable with. I'm going to do a knife because I think it'll be a little faster. Uh, maybe not. So let's, let me just show you what I'm going to do here. The, the one part we're going to just bake. We're going to steam bake that, and I'll put links in there. Um, and then one, one third, I'm going to cut into little, little bitty pieces to use in a side dish or even a main dish with, let's say, orzo or risotto or quinoa. Um, just kind of, you could cook it in there rice even you can just cook the little tiny squash by cutting it this way into these little tiny pieces too you can um, one it'll cook quickly and two you can freeze it this way and because you're going to be cooking it you don't need to keep it doesn't need to keep this um, good consistency and listen to me I'm out of breath because I'm like pushing on these okay so we're just going to cut up some little guys you know, quarter inch, half inch, however small you want to get them. And these will be for the, um, like I said, to cook in with a side dish. Um, this is one tough squash. Okay. And then the last part, see, we're going to get these guys real little. Then we'll get them into our bowl. And uh, from there, I'll just stick them into freezer baggies. Um, you could wrap them in saran wrap or foil and then freeze if you want to do the double, double bagging thing. Um, and then for this other part, just to show you, um, we're going to cut these just into bigger chunks. And you could use these for, um, you could roast these bigger chunks. They'll roast a little bit faster. You could toss with a couple of, you know, some maple syrup um, and roast them that way. You could toss them into a soup. Um, if you were going to do like a stew and you wanted to have a butternut flavor, these chunks would be great. They would shrink down a bit as they cooked and um, would bring a great flavor. Um, so you can see the difference in the in the chunk sizes. And again, just like with the smaller ones, we are going to, we can... Um, freeze these in freezer baggies as well. So that is the plan for the huge butternut squash. Steam bake a portion of it, big chunks in freezer bags in another portion, and little chunks in freezer bags for the final portion. And there you have it.